resin calibration test actually really love this stuff it's Elgoo's water wash resin version 2.0 I've had really good success with this resin so let's give it a test Check the temperature, which is 27 degrees, but mind you, the resin has been sitting next to a radiator for a few days, so that is perfect. Otherwise, I would have used a brew belt to warm the resin. One thing the sponsored YouTube videos don't tell you is you need to set up your grid with 6, 8 or whatever you want to use to make this work as if you don't you will just get a single print in the middle of the build plate like I did copy and paste your discs and place them in the individual boxes until the box is full And then we can remove the reference grid line. You don't really need this, but it just makes it easier to line them up so you don't get any bleeding into the other. Then splice the file and save it to your USB thumb drive. Select your calibration test from the thumb drive and click start when you're ready so this is what we're going to test print with the times see which one is the best I've got them going up in one second increments from 1.9 to 2.7 print plate is now being lowered into the vat and we will check back when it's done and check which calibration and times are the best for this resin and printer absolutely love this machine it has some excellent quality prints especially with the Elgo water wash resin the calibration test is now complete it only took around 14 minutes so I'm sending the build plate to home so we can have a look Resins a nice 30 degrees now. Always use the provided bib in case you make a mess like I just did. see the prints on the bottom
Just let the resin drip for a while. Put a little mark on the back so we know which one is number one. After checking very closely, number 7 is definitely the sharpest. Unfortunately the camera is not picking up how clear it really is. After checking everything, number 7 was definitely the best, which number 7 was 2.1 seconds. Be very careful and always check your plate in case you have left anything on there. the last thing you want is it coming down and going straight through your sheet. The previous settings I was using was 2.7 seconds but after changing to 2.1 after doing this calibration my prints are a hell of a lot more clearer. I can now see that when I was using 2.7 they are overexposed slightly. Anyway thanks for watching. Please give a like if you like the video, give a dislike if you don't like the video and please subscribe.